Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will compare Amplitude 5 versus Guitar V6. We will focus these comparisons just about sound, checking out how these plugins compare versus a real GCM 800. I have loaded the same IR for the plugins and for the real GCM 800 that is an IR that I did of a Greenback speaker mic with SM57 and using a Chandler Germanium preamp. If you're interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below. We will start having the same knob settings for uh, the amp and the plugins with everything at noon, basically. First of all, we will check out the distortion, trying to match the volume and the distortion level of uh, the plugins and the amp. Then uh, we will go through some uh, dynamic range tests to verify how the plugins cleans up and breaks up in comparison to the real amp. This is really related to the feel, how the amp and the plugins respond to your touch. Then we will also check out how they manage the envelope of the notes. Let's start. Real GCM 800. Guitar rig has less distortion in comparison with the real amp and amplitude 5. And then the frequency response is more similar guitar rig against real amp than amplitude, which has the bass frequency a little bit more pronounced in my opinion. So let's try to first of all match amplitude with the real amp. my opinion, Amplitude is also missing some high frequencies. And it has a little bit of too much distortion. I think uh, we have done a pretty good job. Okay, now I think they are pretty similar. I think we have done a pretty good job. Let's now compare guitar rig to the real amp. is missing some distortion. I did the best I could. Okay, 
Now I think they are pretty similar, but as you may have noticed, uh, the knob setting is very different from amplitude to guitar rig to the real amp. So for both the plugin, we had to raise up the treble much more in the guitar rig. For the gain, we had to raise up completely the gain of the guitar rig, while in amplitude, we had just to decrease it a little bit. And we had also to decrease a little bit the bass frequencies for amp. Amplitude. So I would say that uh, uh, Amplitude is much closer to the real deal, we had just to tweak a little bit uh, its knobs, where in Guitar Rig we had to tweak a lot uh, the knobs. Now let's check out the dynamic range response, real Marshall. Once more, I notice some differences. Real amp. Well, first of all, the plugins, I think they are very close to the real amp, but there are some differences. First of all, both the plugins goes down more quickly in terms of volume and gain than the real amp. The real amp has a very gentle curve where the plugins are faster. They both cleans up much faster than the real deal. And uh, if you notice, uh, when I pick very gently, guitar rig uh, is much more sparkly in comparison with the real deal, where amplitude is almost equal to the real deal. In my opinion, this is also due to the fact that I had to raise up the gain knob to its maximum level for guitar rig, uh, where in Amplitude is very close to the real deal. So here I have to say that Amplitude is uh, superior to Guitar Rig in terms of dynamic range management. At low volume it's almost equal to the real amp where Guitar Rig is more sparkly and when it cleans up it cleans up quicker than the real deal but uh, in my opinion better than Guitar Rig. So here I would prefer Amplitude by a tiny bit but it is a little bit better. Now let's check out the envelope of the note. Here I feel that under my hands the real JCM, as in the dynamic range response, uh, it was cleaning up uh, more gently than the plugins. Also here I feel that the tone is under my hand for how to say more time, and where in the plugins the sound disappear quicker, and so you feel that you are losing the sound quicker than with the real deal. Still amplitude. A tiny bit better than Guitar Rig. So all in all, uh, if I had to pick one, honestly I would pick Amplitude. With the knobs uh, equal to the real deal is uh, much more close to the tone of the real deal 
and the dynamic range management is better in amplitude than uh, with the with guitar rigs. In the mix, I don't know if I would be able to tell the difference. We have reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up, it will be of a great help. If you're interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. See you in the next video, bye bye.